Hello painters. In this episode I'm going to show you guys how to imitate the Green Stuff World color shifting paints using just regular metallics. So I've started off, I've base coated my model with the Vallejo Metal Color Magnesium, but any dark steel color will work. And to my airbrush I'm going to add some Vallejo Metal Color Silver or any light steel color. And to that, I'm going to add some Scale 75 Inktense Blue ink. Just two or three drops. And mixing that very well. I want a nice dark blue metallic color. And I add a couple drops of uh, airbrush thinner. And for this example, I'm just going to paint the entire wing of this dragon with this blue color. And I do probably two coats just to make sure we get nice good coverage. So there you can see it's got a really nice blue metallic color now. So I've cleaned up the airbrush and we're going to do the same thing only this time instead of the blue ink we will use the intense green ink. And now we're just going to start on one side and start blending that in into the blue. It's kind of hard to see because it's very reflective. But this is the exact same technique that I used on the Umber Hulk that I did in my one of my previous videos. So for each section of the wing I'm kind of doing green at the top, blue in the center, and then I will do a purple in the bottom. Just going back, kind of reinforcing those areas the green stand out from the blue a little more. And then now same thing again this time with the scale color violet. And this time we'll do the bottom of every section. So basically it transitions from green to blue to purple. You could also try it with warm colors, you know, using uh, red, orange, yellow, something like that. You could go all the way around the rainbow if you wanted to. So just putting that purple on there. And this is a very simple way to do this and I think it gives a pretty nice effect. And here I have my finished dragon. Just picked out some of the other parts of them using the same colors. Uh, those I did with uh, brush. And you can brush this on. Uh, it just takes a little more effort, but you can get the same effect with a paintbrush. 
But uh, yeah, pretty cool little trick. Yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you next time.